On the edge of a wood is a town with a house in which there's a girl with the frame of a mouse. She's not got a tail or big ears or likes cheese, but she's shy and afraid and weak at the knees. Her father's obsessive, she hasn't a mum. She left with a circus and a promise of fun. And her father surrendered his life, don't you know, to attempting to teach some worms to tango. They wriggled about and crawled along branches, but none of them tangoed or did any dances. His work with the worms, it threatened his health, and his daughter was left to fend for herself. So bored and frustrated, pale and ill, she climbed up the bookshelf just for the thrill. Up there she discovered some broken padlocks and a dusty and dry old-fashioned matchbox. Her father had made no plans for the day, so she took out the matches and started to play. She thought about giving a shout to her father, but knew out of her and some worms who he'd rather. So she ran, ran away, ran fast from her dad, ran from the fire and from feeling bad. And there in the wood, she sat all alone. She sat and she thought about the flames in her home. She wished that she never let her house burn. Then she looked at the ground and she noticed a worm. Hey up. Said the worm, the girl said. Hello, has anybody taught worms to do the tango? The worm looked surprised and dropped his head low. The answer, my friend, to that question is no. A worm can be used as a good many things. A worm can be used as a short piece of string. Drumsticks are light switch and frames for your glasses. Worms can be used as false moustaches. Worms can be tight ropes, lassoes and spoons. Worms can be rockets that fly to the moon. Spelling and lipstick are lead for a pup, as worms can be used to hold trousers up. But the answer, my friend, to your question is no. You'll never, not ever, get worms to tango. Slowly the girl, she started to grin. She needed to tell her father this thing. If he heard it firsthand that his dream won't occur, he'd stop his obsession and spend time with her. She picked up the worm and ran to her house. This little girl was no longer a mouse. She thought that her dad would be ready to fight, but he opened the door and cried out in delight. He squeezed her real close and kissed the top of her head and whispered to her that he thought she was dead. He took her inside, gently closing the door, and he promised he'd teach worms to tango no more. The worm was delighted at what the girl got, and it said to itself, worms can do a lot. Worms can make hearts made of ice into water. Worms can make fathers take notice of daughters. But one thing's for certain, I think you should know, no worm will ever, not ever, do the tango.